They say under this tree, 15 years ago, Philip McCormick was buried. We should kill them right now. They're just right over there. Be quiet. I want to see how this turns out. Maybe we'll get to see a dead body. Oh, I, I do love dead bodies. What am I even doing here? I should have left when all that weird stuff started to happen, but no. I decided to stay with you guys, and now I am out here on the front lawn digging for a dead body. Come on, Harold. Nothing bad is going to happen. We told you, that stuff before was just the wind. And what about Beatnik? He has panic attacks. We all know that. Yeah, yeah. But you know... There is only so many sensible explanations out there before you start to realize that some things are just absurd. And there's a human skull. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? <laughs> Seth. I'm sorry. I got scared. There, there, I, I know. Skeletons and pumpkins with scary faces really creep you out, don't they? Well, Nora, it looks like Gorman's still babying Seth, huh? Nora? Nora! Oh, cool, a dead body! Nora, I told you to stay put. But Marissa, we were gonna come out anyways. Okay, quiet time now, Nora, quiet time. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> At long last, I have the three of you cornered. Oh, it's glorious. Marissa! You perfidious, putrid peril! Have you been stalking us this entire time? Oh, but of course. I hacked into your email about a week ago and found out that you were coming here. You hacked into my email? Yes, yes, I've also tapped into your phone hired spies to watch you in the school, and put video cameras in your bedroom. You bugged my room, too? Oh, and you are so boring, too. You're always going on about your macaroni drawings and your frog collection. Even Harold is more interesting. Wait, what? But it looks like my hard work has finally paid off. Goodbye, the three of you. Wait, Marissa, you can't do this. Why not? There's already one body under that tree. Why can't there be another three? Because it's not dramatic enough. Don't you want the moment that you finally kill Seth Lewis to be theatric? Tying him to a train track? Poisoning him, dropping him down an elevator shaft? Yes, you're right. If I'm going to kill Seth Lewis, I have to show that I mean it. That I feel something. All right. The three of you may live. For now. <laughs> Smoop him! <coughs> Where did you go? <coughs> what? How did we get up here, Nora? And why am I holding a gallon of gasoline? And why is there a rabbit on my head? I don't know, I was following you. Hold on. Well, this is a lot harder than it looks. Here, Marissa, you can use my neck to step down. What? No, I, I'm not doing that. Why do you have to be so weird? Farewell. Come on, Nora. <laughs> Bye, guys. Huh. Well, it's official. I found a dead body, and a crazed child celebrity is trying to kill us. I'm done. But Harold... No, no, I'm done, Seth. I'm done. Oh, come on. Don't worry, he'll be back. And by the way, all the options from the previous episode are still open. The ghost in the bathroom, 
the Grim Reaper in the basement, the Werebear in the study. And don't forget about the aliens! Marissa. Smoke bomb! <coughs> also, feel free to comment with your own ideas. Uh, Gorman, I could use your help over here? I got stuck in this gate this time. Oh, great. The rabbit's back on my head, isn't it? Hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. Key. Gorman! You know, you got yourself into this. You, you know that, right? Okay, okay. Just move your shoulders. Just a heads up, we'll probably be doing non-Halloween related episodes with Seth Gorman and Harold here soon. Also, a special shout out to Joey Williams. Joey, I sense that your spirit monster is a... Babadook. Keep it awesome, Babadook. And no, I will not eat a dog.